So I've been glassing here for about two and a half hours. I have a 260, 300 degree view. The only thing I can't see is directly behind me, but I can see everything else. Except, as you can tell, it's kind of smoky across this valley, which is kind of what I wanted to look at. Some really good looking basins over there, but it's been tough, so. All I've seen is this doe that was down below me. I'm looking down in here, the bottom of this valley, just because, or this basin, because a lot of the berries were real heavy right at camp. And our camp is right there, which at the end of the day, like, I don't think there's going to be anything up above us. There could be something over there. I don't know if, I think the wind will probably just bypass that. So I think there's a potential for a bear to be over on that hillside. It looks really thick with berry bushes and then off this way there's kind of a deep valley that I think they could be hanging out in. Keegan's dropping or picking up. They should be on their way up by now. I think they'll probably be here 839 if I had to guess. It's a little bright there Jeffrey. I know I'm sorry bud. Well we got to camp about half hour 45 minutes. We rode the horses maybe a third way up but woke Jacob's ass up and he made us some dinner. <laughs> Got some fresh bush lattes out of the creek and this is an awesome camp. Yeah. Why don't, we just, why don't we just MTV Cribs, Bob? All right, y'all come over here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, we got the camp stove. That's where we cooked our brats. Look at this. Look at this setup. There's Jeff's chair right there. Jeff's chair behind us. We got our rides all tied up in the trees. Yeah, that's our... Uh, Those are our whips. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's our guide, Keegan. Yeah. Check out these wheels. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new. Just gotten done. Yeah, these are our whips. These are our whips. Check out our, our crib. All right, yeah. Take us on over. All right. Got our stove. <laughs> that's for the dark timber coffee. There's our cameras and optics station. It's called the old Lux Octo Peak. Yeah, it sure is. It's uh, got four. Whose strap on is out? Oh, put that away. <laughs> Look at that. One, two, three, four. Extremely comfortable. We could do. We could almost do a whole other one in the back. Yeah, you could. Yeah. You can fit five dudes in here comfortably. Yeah, nice. No stove, five easy. Nice, dude. So, that's looking pretty slick. <coughs> Jacob's Slick. over there doing the long exposure. Looks like there's nice some shot. food bags and stuff over there. Jacob's setting up a camera for doing some stargazing. Looking good. And then tomorrow we're waking up. What time are we getting up? No idea. Hopefully not super early because um, it's super late. Six-ish. Then it's, we'll... Uh, 12.20. 12.20. Then the uh, the plan is to find a bear or two or three, four, four tags. Fuck it. That's the plan tomorrow, and we got all weekend if need be. If it starts heating up, uh, we can take a day off. So it could be a three day hunt, two day hunt. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. See you in the morning, folks. See ya. Plan should be this morning, Bob. Well, I've been glassing this for about 15 20 minutes. I haven't caught anything yet, but it's beautiful looking country. I think we're gonna make some coffee in a little bit, glass a little bit more, and then head up the trail. And Jacob was saying it opens up into some more awesome country where the berries are more ripe. So I think that's the plan of attack for this morning. And I honestly didn't sleep that well last night. How'd you sleep? I slept hard. Did you? Yeah. I was just restless. I don't know if it was because the horses were outside the tent. I kept, they'd wake me up every 15 minutes or so, but I don't feel bad. I just didn't sleep the best, but. Need a little nap here midday. Maybe midday nap, yeah. 
those are always awesome but take a look at this I'll show them a little bit Jeffrey how'd you sleep last night I slept pretty good I woke up once 3.30 other than that though, I slept like pretty fucking good I think well, we all three did. We're all we're all pretty up for the camera. Yeah, we're all pretty up for the camera. <laughs> Except for this man. Dude, Jacob's shit. even growing a beard. Look at that, dude. I had so beard, since I didn't have to. drill. Just, no, no. Check it out. They've dude. already seen it. Look at video. that. <laughs> That's pretty glorious, right, guys? Guess how long that is? That's like two and a half weeks. Is right it? Yeah. It looks good. I'm digging it. It's 27 years. Don't let me know. But this is my first time using the old. 10 by 50 oh, UHDs. Those aren't, oh, sh well, all right. we can cut yeah, that. Yeah, we, we don't have to use it. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. We're like... <laughs> Yo! By the time this comes out... It, it might be, be, yeah. I don't uh, even know when they're supposed to release. I, I don't know either. So, yeah, that's the plan. Glass, glass, and do some more glassing. We think the berries are a little bit lower. Some messages on the Zolio. The one. 
one for the first bear I saw was a chocolate bear by itself. The other, the two others is a pretty decent sized sow and a really pretty, like pretty old cub. Looks like just about gonna get kicked out kind of cub. Um, so there's definitely bears in this basin. There could be even more. It's just being able to see into it this way. I knew there was going to be activity over here. I just knew it. So three bears in like five minutes. It is 2.06. So they're out feeding in the middle of the day like bears do. But I got to go tell these guys what's up. Uh, me and Bob were glassing this direction and Jacob wanted to go up on top and glass into a remote bowl that he Onyx scouted and he runs back down to me and Bob and said he spotted three bears so we're gonna go up on top and glass into that basin and dissect it. It is 2.15 we have plenty of time to go make a play. It's just we're like four and a half miles from camp this way and then the terrain that the bears ran are look pretty rugged so just kind of figure it out. Let's go see if we can get on one. One of the bears that we spotted is moving up and we think there's a way to cut down, get in a rock field and then shoot down on it. So we're moving down there right now. Jeff and I are coming, Bob's staying up top. We're gonna get after it, so.
bunch of good shoots. So we could sit on here until dark and then we'd have to headlamp probably four and a half miles back. Or we can start picking our way back now and then with daylight we can see some shoots and bottoms and stuff. So I don't know, like Jacob said, why would we leave these bear to go find other ones? But we don't really know what happened. I don't think our wind switched. I know it didn't, and I, we know it didn't go down there, so we don't know what the heck happened. But it's the first bear trip of the year. We saw three bears today in this one little basin. Jacob nailed it, nailed it with his own scouting, brought us right to him. Wish we could have just got it put together at the end. So I'm gonna finish my Heather's Choice pack around and. We got going on, Jake. We're back to camp. Just a couple of bear steaks. I'm, I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. We wish. These are uh, ribeyes. Oh boy. And that there is butter. Okay. This here is salsa. Okay. That there is chips. And what are you drinking? And that's a red beer, bush, bush latte cone clamato. Uh, I tried it. I did, folks. I'm not a fan. Delicious. I'm just drinking a normal latte, no red in it. Jacob put that clamato in there, and uh, let me tell you what, it's a disgrace. Bob's out with Keegan, they're doing a horse water. Watering our whips. Watering the old whips. <clears throat> and uh, Jacob and I are doing steaks We're on steak duty. I don't think these look very good. No, you, you should, you or should smell. Look, you should let me know. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Doesn't suck. Hey, Keegan, we, we broke into the old chips and salsa, too. Good. Yeah, I was wondering when you guys were going to do that. Yep, we did it. And I'm not sorry. Yeah. What's going on? It's uh, hydrating for the, the pack out of here. We slept in a little bit this morning. Uh, Glass around camp a little bit. Didn't see much of anything, so we ended up shooting a couple rocks. Uh, verified Jeff's gun at 700 yards, shooting lights out. Had uh, fajitas for lunch. What's your rifle doing? Uh, my rifle's off by eight feet to the right, 500. <laughs> so good thing I didn't shoot at a bear. Oh, shit. But that's why you shoot at range, and good thing I didn't shoot at one, because it's definitely off. So I need to hit the range and dial that sucker back in, but at least we have uh, one gun that's on. Yep. It was an awesome weekend. Can't thank Keegan enough. He was freaking amazing. Gourmet meals and packing us in here. I've never experienced anything like it, so. Hell of experience. Awesome experience. Look at that fucking mullet. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Oh, hell yeah. But yeah, discovered new country. I think we'll definitely be back. Saw in a handful here. of bears. Saw yeah, three or four bears. Three confirmed, maybe four. Mm -hmm. But awesome spot. We'll be back. How's it going, Every, You know, just reloading packs. <laughs> 